Hello and welcome back to our C++ programming in Unreal Engine 4. In these videos, we will be talking about classes in Unreal Engine 4 and you will be able to implement a program that would utilize classes, actors, and components um, to add content and other interesting um, tools and materials to your game. So what we are going to learn here in this set of videos is to understand what classes and actors are in Unreal Engine 4 and how you can create classes and actors in your program and how you can utilize already pre-existing actors to inherit from and build new classes basically on top of the existing Unreal Engine actors and objects. And then we'll learn about components and more details about actors and we will see how you can add physical representation and geometric transformations to the newly created objects and actors that you have created based on Unreal Engine classes. After that, we are going to learn how to implement functionalities and add functionalities to your actors based on adding code that would take into account what logical function you want the actor to perform and then implement that within your program. And finally, we wrap up our video by learning how you can utilize a functionality within Unreal Engine that allows you to spawn dynamically the actors that you created into your level and into your game. So let's get started with our first video that shows you how you can create classes in the Unreal Engine 4. So if you remember um, your C++ programming language experiences, whenever you want to create an object, you would utilize the concept of classes. And when you create a class, you effectively are designing a conglomerate of variables or, or attributes, as they are called, and methods or functions and basically encapsulating all of these things and wrapping them into a class entity. And then you will be able to instantiate objects based off of these classes. In Unreal Engine 4, classes that are designed to specifically work with the engine utilize the macro U class. And when you create a class in regular C++ class and add the U class macro on top of it, what this does is effectively it exposes the class to the engine. So then the objects that you create are going to be Unreal objects or Unreal Engine classes. So a U class is nothing but a simple C++ class with the U class macro added and some header files added to the header object that allows the integration of this class into the Unreal Engine base engine as well as the Unreal Engine editor properly. By exposing your class to the Unreal Engine, you are effectively making sure that the objects that you're creating off of this class are going to be properly memory managed and that they're also going to be exposed to the Unreal editor so that the level designers and artists who are working on the other components of the game can utilize these objects within the editor and work with you know, adding simple functionalities to them or adding textures, materials, and things like that to these objects and classes. Now, once you create a class as a U class and tag it as a U class, its construction and destruction must be handled and it must be managed by the Unreal Engine. Therefore, you cannot use the simple new or delete operators or malloc or free functions to construct or delete the objects that are of type U class you need to utilize Unreal's version of instantiating and dynamically allocating these objects in memory. We will actually have a set of videos that are specifically created to teach you about memory management in Unreal Engine 4. So we will just leave this until later in these video series. But for now, uh, remember that if you have a class that is created as U class, you cannot use new or delete or malloc or free to allocate or associate objects of this class. You basically have to use things like spawn actor and so forth to be able to use and create objects of these types of 
classes in Unreal Engine 4. So in this video, what we're going to do is to create a class based on UE4's or Unreal Engine 4's actual class. Then next, we will investigate what a U class is made of, and we just take a look at the code and see how the code is created for a new class that you create. And then we are going to make our class and its properties editable in the Unreal Engine editor. So what we'll do is we'll create a class and we're going to call this class a magic pill. And then the objects that we are going to create in our game are going to be magic pills. And these magic pills can be picked up by the, uh, by the player. And each of these magic pills will have an associated health value component to them that could be a positive value or a negative value. And when the player picks these objects up, it could hurt or it could help its uh, health, depending on how much health the magic pill has, whether it's a good pill or a bad pill. So let's get into the code and start creating our first class in Unreal Engine. Okay, in the game editor, as you see here, we have our character and our third person level already set up. We have set this game up, the videos from the previous sections, and I strongly recommend you, if this is the first time that you're opening these videos and you want to follow through with me, I recommend you to uh, basically go ahead and uh, follow the instructions from the first uh, sets of videos that shows you how you can actually set this up. It's actually a very simple setup um, utilizing the C++ code third person template and what we did simply is just added basic jump functionalities to this character and overrode the jump function to log on the output log of the Unreal Editor that you see at the bottom here, how many times a player has jumped. So now what we are going to do is to add a couple of classes here that are responsible for the magic pill objects and for the spawning of the magic pills in these next videos. In order to add a new class to your game, you simply can add the objects or add new classes, new items from the content browser, which you see here at the bottom left corner of my editor. And when you click on it, you will have a number of options available to you. And for this, we want to create a C++ class in this video. So we click on new C++ class. When you add the new C++ class, the add C++ class wizard will be, will open up. And this wizard will allow you to choose the parent class of the object you want to create. And Unreal Engine has a bunch of sets of parent classes that are already programmed um, as the base engine objects and classes, and you can utilize those. You can either create an empty C++ class with a default constructor or destructor, a class based on an actor, based on a pawn, based on a character, and so on and so forth. There are certain other types of objects that are available that you can also create, but they don't show up automatically here because they don't have physical representations in your game. So if you want to create objects based on parents that are not on this list, you can simply click on Show All Classes, and then here you see all classes that are available to you. So the object classes that are the base of any kind of class that you can create are you objects, and then as you see, an actor is already a child object or a child class of the object class. And so this way you will see all possible classes that you can inherit from. Okay, so we're going to uncheck the show all classes. And for our particular purpose, we want to create a class based on an actor. So we'll click on the actor as the parent class, select it, and then click next. There you will be able to name your class. And what's going to happen is that the class will be placed under your Unreal projects. And this is Unreal Scripting Basic is your, your project. And then it will have a source folder inside. And then you will have the source of Unreal Basic. And then the classes will be added there. So we want to call this Magic Pill. Now, I already have this class created from a previous rendering of this video. But you will not get this um, error or warning here. And basically, once you have created this Magic Pill, let's call this Magic Pill 1, then you can create class. You click on it. And then Unreal Engine will create the C++ code in a C++ file and the header code in a header file, which you will see it will be placed under the public folder. And then the implementation code for it will be placed under the private folder. And then your Visual Studio 2015 will open up with 
the magicpill.h and magicpill.cpp files open within the Visual Studio. So we'll create these classes and wait until the Visual Studio opens. Okay, when the Visual Studio opens up, um, it will open up to having the magicpill.h and magicpill.cpp, the objects that you created, um, open in the editor. And obviously the header file contains all the header parts of this object. And the object, as you see, is a U-class object. So it's an object that is an Unreal Engine class. Utilizes the namespace Unreal Scripting Basic underscore API, which is the namespace for your project. It is called a magic pill. Basically, the actor classes that you create in Unreal Engine will have a prefix of letter A, and it is a public child of the class A actor parent. You will obviously see the generated body macro, which goes ahead and utilizes the Unreal header tools to fill out this object at compile time. And it will have a constructor, which is basically your default constructor, a magic pill. And it has a virtual function called begin play and a virtual function called tick, which are the only functions that by default are created for you. And in the C++ file, you have the basic implementation. So you have your magic pill constructor, which basically allows the magic pill or these objects of this type to tick. You will have a magic pill begin play, which calls the parent begin play by calling the super begin play. And then you have the tick, which takes the delta time from the engine and then calls the parent tick of this object. And if you wanted to add functionalities, you will add the functionalities at begin play or at the tick time to the 